On the 25th of May 2015, a group of 11 delegates from the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan leaves the Jordanian capital Amman, flying to Berlin for a five-day study trip in Germany on behalf of the project Sustainable Use of Ecosystem Services in Jordan. The group is led by Her Royal Highness Princess Basma bint Ali, a national heroine and a symbol of the protection of the environment and biodiversity in Jordan. Furthermore, the group includes representatives of four different ministries of the main environmental, non-governmental organisations, as well as members of the National Committee for Biodiversity. After their arrival to Berlin, the delegates enjoy an impressive journey on the River Spree. This adventure is also linked with an environmental approach. The boat ride gets performed with Solon, Berlin's first and largest solar passenger ship. The central objective of this study trip is to demonstrate significant examples for the main thematic issues of the project Sustainable Use of Ecosystem Services in Jordan, such as the protection and conservation of biodiversity and ecosystems, with a focus on their economic importance and value for society. The first morning of the study trip is spent at the impressive Federal Garden Show at Brandenburg an der Havel, where the Jordanian delegation receives a warm welcome and personal guidance by the city's Lord Mayor herself. The Federal Garden Show demonstrates how an effective networking of different cities and communities can create a joint, nature-based attraction of regional importance and also helps to support rural areas. In Jordan, a sustainable ecotourism has still to be developed and extended, which could serve as an alternative income for the local population. An educational approach of the Bulga is presented to the delegates by visiting the Green Classroom, an ecological research ship for young lovers of the environment and nature. The excited children are proud to show Her Royal Highness Princess Basma, through the microscope, fascinating insights into the ecology and microfauna of the River Havel. I enjoy to visit the Buga exhibition. It's a wonderful place. I taste the biological juice. It's tasty and fine. You see, the taste is wonderful, so I recommend that all people to taste this one. The EKF ESS project intends to develop options for ecotourism and recreation while reducing simultaneously the pressure on the related ecosystems. At the end of her visit, Her Royal Highness Princess Basma signs the guest book of the city of Brandenburg under Havel. Everyone, they should visit Buga Garden. Back in the city, the group visits in the afternoon the Princess Garden, an ecological project about urban gardening in the middle of Berlin. Fresh, organic, locally produced herbs and vegetables are grown in raised compost beds without using any pesticides or artificial fertilizers. The production of honey in the urban area is a perfect example for a provisioning ecosystem service. Pollination is critical for food production and human livelihoods and directly links wild ecosystems with agricultural production systems. This is a really interesting garden. Being in an urban garden in the middle of the city setting is a great way to bring and raise awareness to the people living in the city. Especially bringing the bees into this urban garden is, uh, is, is the perfect way to show the importance of bees in biodiversity. In the evening, the official welcome dinner in Berlin gives opportunity for an exchange between the Jordanian delegates and representatives of the Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development of Germany. In her speech, Her Royal Highness Princess Basma bint Ali mentions the challenges, most urgent measures and strategies, as well as the successful initiatives and alliances which exist in Jordan regarding the protection of the environment, biodiversity and ecosystems, as well as their sustainable use and the involvement of the local people in their socio-economic demands. Due to the important policy and parliamentary approach of the EKF ESS project, a guided tour in the Bundestag, the German Parliament, was obligatory. We are here today at the German Parliament, the Bundestag. We want to understand the structure of the aid processing to the partner countries, and especially to Jordan, and we rely on the support of the German Parliament to 
help Jordan in the current situation, especially the Syrian crisis. The delegates learned interesting facts about the history, the functionality and the working routine of the German parliament. After a relaxing bus ride out of Berlin and heading towards the eastern part of Germany, the delegation arrives at the Federal Environment Agency, the UBA. This is an impressive example of an ecological yet comfortable building. In an introductory session, the agency presents its general tasks, responsibilities, aims and intentions, as well as its fields of action and research. Also, the GIZ team has the opportunity to present and explain the structure and scopes of the environmental sector of GIZ in Jordan. A special focus, of course, is given to the EKF ESS project with its overall goals, objectives and three main thematic fields. We are a federal agency for environment and we hear about many presentations about Rio conventions, climate change, UNCCD and CBD convention. And really interesting about many presentations about fauna, flora, habitat and water. And we need to implement the best practices in Jordan. After a long day filled with institutional and scientific information, a relaxing romantic trip with rowing boats in the nearby Garden Kingdom of Dessau Wurlitz is a welcome activity in the evening for the Jordanian delegates. Yeah, in this trip actually we have seen uh, many things in terms of uh, how to live the nature, how to understand how it goes. Uh, also green buildings actually, it was amazing. Today we have seen it. Indeed, uh, this trip it, it would be an excellent for a uh, matter of uh, exchanging experience. Uh, we have gained a lot of things that we can take with us to Jordan. In 2000, the Garden Kingdom of Dessau Wurlitz was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Middle Elbe Biosphere Reserve, with more than 125,000 hectares, is Germany's biggest biosphere reserve. Provisioning, regulating and supporting ecosystem services which humanity needs for survival all depend on the richness and sustainability of plant and animal species and the ecosystems they are living in. I come with the Jordanian delegation to Germany because we as Jordan and myself at the Royal Society for the Conservation of Nature want to exchange experience with the conservation of biodiversity and ecosystem services. And we visited uh, several sites where uh, uh, principles and basic uh, rules of uh, ecosystem services are well implemented in Germany. And we hope lessons learned from this study will be going to be implemented and transferred to Jordan. The most important topics for the Jordanian delegation are the best practice examples for a sustainable conservation of the native fauna and flora with the indigenous species, associations and natural habitats, its combination with sustainable ecotourism and environmental education. After receiving so much valuable information, a project site inspection and walk on the dike, having an overwhelming view on the landscape and the water side of the River Elba, of course, is obligatory. The concept of biosphere, I think, uh, needs to be highlighted more in uh, our region uh, because it's very important to live in harmony with nature, whereby uh, nature conservation and social and economical development needs to be uh, extended over the uh, country. Uh, we are happy today to visit one of the important uh, biosphere in Germany. Uh, they have 15 so far, and we have also in Jordan uh, two similar uh, biosphere reserves, uh, Dana and Almoji. And I think there is a great uh, possibility to integrate uh, and to cooperate between uh, each other in this uh, very important uh, concept, to live in harmony with nature. By observing sheep grazing peacefully on the dike as a sustainable measure for landscape conservation, some delegates surely recalled typical images of Jordan. Livestock is an important component in the farming system in Jordan and a major source of cash income as well as consumption. The final day of the study trip in Germany has come for the delegation. The first stop is being made at the ecological village Portovin. This enterprise is a real success story about the strengthening of local production 
we suffer in our country from uh, overgrazing and even uh, we need to uh, concentrate on uh, range management and it seems to be a big difference between uh, here and Jordan especially related to the uh, investment in uh, ecosystem uh, services and even uh, here uh, it seems that the management of the range uh, uh, go in a different uh, direction rather than Jordan due to the uh, water availability and uh, very green uh, land. In the attached fields for organic farming, no pesticides or insecticides are applied. This is a fine best practice example for the Jordanian delegates, as in Jordan, organic farming is still in development. The Board of Village won several important awards, like for its organic product processing, or for the excellent quality of its organic milk, which is not homogenized and remains in its natural state. This is improving the fresh, natural taste of the milk significantly. The dairy farm produces organic milk, mozzarella and cheese on a daily basis. The next site on the program is the Biorama project. Apart from being a rewarding destination for eco-tourists, providing the unique opportunity to receive a holistic overview of the UNESCO biosphere, the place also offers a forum for environment, science and art. Following the introduction provided by the project's directors, the delegation climbs up to a roof of a former water tower, now fully restored and serving as a fantastic lookout over the region and surrounding landscape. The viewing platform allows the Jordanian visitors to fully appraise the dimension and beauty of the UNESCO Biosphere Reserve of Korin Schorfheide and to overview one of Europe's largest mixed forests. We are uh, sharing uh, information and knowledge with our partners, uh, the GIZ we are working with. We have seen a lot of uh, good things, best practices. The meaning and value of ecological sustainability is explained here to the public, also reflected in the architecture of the centre. The enterprise implements cultural events, exhibitions, micro-projects and artistic presentations related to the region and its nature, therefore enhancing environmental public awareness. The, the management uh, in terms of environment uh, is something important that we would like to find more ways to cooperate between Jordan and Germany. The last stopover of this day in Brandenburg is the organic farm Naturland Hof Hermann, with a focus on the production of organic apple juice, gained from a traditional and ecologically maintained orchard, which is more than 100 years old and comprises more than 30 different sorts of fruit trees. The orchard lies in direct vicinity and sighting distance to the Biosphere Reserve. Another example for the successful and sustainable combination and harmony between natural and cultural areas, as well as the sustainable coexistence of their provided ecosystem services. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It gives me great pleasure to be here at the end of our one week long trip with the GIC to see what options we have in ecosystem services. It's been very inspiring uh, for us in Jordan because we've seen actually on hand what we can do for the future in Jordan. There are many practical examples that we can actually be inspired by and apply it in Jordan back home. And I would like to thank all of the GIZ team for preparing this very wonderful and comprehensive program for us because it truly gave us an insight on what is possible for the future. And I see it's only the beginning now. This is not the end of the trip, but it will open up many other future cooperation between Jordan and Germany in the future. Thank you. This study tool was part of the technical support of GIZ within the project Sustainable Use of Ecosystem Services in Jordan. Modalities of best practices for the protection of the biodiversity in Germany and the sustainable use of the multiple ecosystem services were shown successfully and especially the mutual fruitful exchange of experiences between the Jordanian and German participants was achieved.
It was a very successful, vivid and productive study trip, and the visited German institutions and sites provided significant examples for the sustainable use of the environment and biodiversity in Germany to the delegation, with rewarding insights that can be usefully transferred to Jordan, in spite of all the geo and biophysical, climatic and cultural differences between our two countries. Above all, the outcome of this week was a further establishment and consolidated foundation for a permanent, productive and successful cooperation of all the present institutions in the frame of this important project. GIZ expects that Jordan will be one of the pioneering countries in the region to incorporate the concept of ecosystem services in its environmental planning and this study trip was an initial step and helped to substantiate our mutual understanding and, as a Jordanian delegate put it when he was finally back home in Amman, to make us feel like one team.